afternoon and welcome back to what is what we'd call somewhat normality like a normal video don't get me wrong it was a nice break six day break working well it was like a working holiday it wasn't really a break but it's so nice to be welcomed home and it really was nice to actually have some vegetables waiting for me as well because working away you just eat on the go eat rubbish food so yeah i had a complete whole well i got back thursday and obviously i think jordan and sam they had like the whole weekend off but i had grass cutting friday to do which i struggled through because I, I wouldn't say i'm like overtired but i just lethargy just so so drained didn't really want to do it i'm sort of like lagging behind the lawnmower like, i just didn't didn't want to do it but i've done it i finished it yesterday i had pretty much the whole day off I was just messing around. I don't actually think I left the sofa till about nearly midday yesterday, just flicking through TikTok and stuff, as you do. So, uh, yeah, the plan was, basically today I'm like, kind of like procrastinating because I want to go and clean the aviary out, but I also want to weed the borders out the front. Now, I don't really want to re weed the borders out the front because I don't want to be doing no work. and I don't want to clean the aviary out. I will go and update in the aviary because quite a lot has happened whilst I've been away. Uh, Georgia and Emma, bless them, they've done really well keeping the birds fed and watered. Uh, and just on the day that I left, we had, if you remember, I had seven button quails, which were uh, seven button quail eggs, which were from button quails that we hatched out. And then they laid and I got them back from my friend uh so yeah second generation of well, our generation second generation to us of the button quails two of them actually hatched the day i left and um yeah but unfortunately they didn't survive don't know why nothing's i'm not going to blame emma or the kids or anything because i'd have done no different to what emma done emma kind of blamed myself but no not at all so unfortunately they didn't survive now the plan today was to put the four button quails that i have in the um brooder into the aviary but then I realized on a date, it's only about four and a half, nearly five weeks. I did put one in there and immediately it become picked on by everyone in there. So I decided to take it back out, put it in the brood and change the water, change the fruit, food. Uh, so I'm hoping, I think Jordan's home because I need to get the, you know, my door panels that I um, uh, inherited from that job. Uh, a door panel and a window panel. I need to get them into my back garden, stick a tarpaulin over them so they're out of the elements because it's been like hit and miss weather today rain sun rain sun but it's nice now uh, i think he's home or if he's not home then someone's like defaced his van with some kind of england stuff that wasn't me not at all i think that was him but yeah it was a cracking game last night it really was it was nice to actually you know beat the germans beat ukraine i do think like you know denmark denmark play well we've got denmark on wednesday i just i feel like Fair play to them, you know, their, their, their whole tournament kicked off with obviously the unfortunate uh, Christian Eriksen having a cardiac arrest on the pitch, which is never nice, but it just seems to spur the whole team on. And if you're going to lose a game, I'd rather lose it to Denmark than in the final against Italy or Spain. But I think we can go all the way. I think it's going to be Italy, England final. So yeah, I think he's home, so I need to get them doors off him. Well, he's not in the van, obviously. His other van sat there and his Range Rover's got a flat tyre, so he's not out in that. So uh, yeah, get them off him and then hopefully just go in the aviary, have a little tour. I'm not gonna do a full clean. The pheasant, oh, I'll show you the pheasant. He's grown so much and he's definitely a boy. Feeling in my bones, I can feel it in my veins. Hands in the sky, I can feel it. As much as I like the pheasant, he's really starting to trash the place in here, he really is. I mean, all these plants down here, these fake plants with like the oasis ball, he's literally ripping them out. But he's definitely a boy. I don't want to get rid of him, I like him, I really do, but he's kind of outgrowing the aviary. And obviously there's like plenty of other activity with the quails and stuff. So uh, when the other quails come in, I have got home for him. I've got two places he could go. Uh, both uh, customers of, one's a customer of Emma's, one's a customer of mine. They have farms, so 
He's uh, he's not gonna be alone, but I do like him. He's such a dude. He makes such no he's, see, he's worried now. I'm kind of like sitting where he wants to bolt to to go back indoors, but he can't get there because I'm in the way. So yeah, what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna clean up all the old food off the floor because obviously we want to try and keep the rats away, which we're doing well. We are doing well. But I've had, whilst I was away, I had three uh, finches fledge, which are, it's kind of weird because the um, Bengalese finch is acting as a surrogate mother to one of the finches that fledged, a little white one, which is over there. And then I've had two more from one of the, I uh, had the male from the show finches still remaining. He mated with a female. They had two more fledglings. And they're more than happy. I put the canaries little tray things up, but they're not really interested. They're not done nothing yet. Budgie wise, mommy budgie. You see, she's sitting on eggs again. She's almost at the year mark of not actually having any success with her eggs. Nearly a year. I think it was September, end of August last year. Last time she actually successfully had uh, a baby hatch, which was the first bird that got killed by the rat. Violet, again I need to move her eggs. Straight out. None of them. And I know they're not, because they've been in there for at least three weeks. You see, mummy budgie, that end, she kicks her eggs out. Violet just doesn't bother. She just keeps on sitting on them and sitting on them and sitting on them, so I'm going to get rid of them. But yeah, again, overcrowding. There's a lot of birds in here. I need to get rid of finches again. Like I said, I've still not got rid of the budgies that I want to get rid of. They're going soon as well. And um, the girls and Emma have collected a lot of quail eggs over the last week, which some of them are fertile because I've got two boys roaming around in here now. But um, I'm not, I'm done, I'm finished. That shed is going to be converted and stuff's going to be moved around so I'm going to pack the incubators away I'm going to pack the brooder away with the incubators in because they fit in there lovely uh, like I said dismantle the other brooder get rid of that burn it or something I don't know and then um, hopefully start making space for the new shed <laughs> boat is still here it's sold though 10 pounds on ebay Woo happy days a whole 10 pounds i thought it would go for much more than that but it didn't but the guy did say to me i think the uh auction ended at the beginning of june and he said it'll pick up in july so i might have to message him and say like where are you pick up your boat so i can get it out of the way so i can start building shed so the two pounds i got off jordan uh i was going to have like the window panel this end of the shed so it'd be like there and then obviously the doors that end and the other doors the more expensive doors better doors go on the end of the big shed this end which they probably still will but i've decided now to actually do a solid end this end because i want to put the uh 300 300s and the 500 units that are in this shed on the end of this shed and i can't do that with a window so i might put a window here and then just sort of build the featherboard around it and paint it with clear coat and it should all blend in nicely so that, that's the next job. That's definitely the next job. That will be happening soon. I've been over, popped over Jordan. He's uh, editing the video, so I just left him to it. The girls have been playing outside. Everyone's happy, birds are happy. They haven't actually cut this grass. What's left of it from the dog. That's the next step. Do that tomorrow. Back to work. It's back to normality, it really is. Not that like normality means nothing to me because every day is a working day. So yeah, I'm gonna, um, well, sort the kids out, em, uh, Emma. George has made dinner, and a mess, like she does. Uh, they're all bathed, they're all fed, they're all watered, they're all like hair's done and stuff, so we'll be back to school run tomorrow. The first school run on Friday, bless, River May. Dropped her in school, like, the head teacher's like, hello River May, off she walks in, boom, fell down a slope, and uh, cut her knee open. So I spent half an hour at school. She stayed all day, bless her, she done well. Uh, they were saying like bring her home because it kept bleeding and it just literally took all the skin off her knee But she's okay So yeah, right, so 
next video hopefully is i'm going to get all this stuff out of the shed now i'm going to get all the brooders out all the incubators put them all away properly get them like where they live for the winter and then start building this shed because i need the room in there so thank you so much for watching it's nice to be back home i say it's every video but um if you like my videos please subscribe to my channel turn the notifications on set the preferences to all that way youtube will let you know when i've uploaded a new video if you'd like to help me out with the channel in any way you don't have to but there are links in the description for paypal and patreon so i'll see you soon bye